Thank you. I'm Scott Rafshoon, R-A-F-S-H-O-O-N. I'm from Atlanta. I'm with the firm McKenna Long and Aldrich. Uh, as as uh, Tom said, I represent my firm represents uh, Balfour Beatty in their transactions around the country, and we're pleased to have one of the transactions after many years. It's actually in the state where we're located, so that's that's a nice benefit to doing this work. Um, the ground lease and the other doc, the, there will be a ground lease for the on base portion of this project and some other sort of document, a restriction agreement of some sort that we haven't seen yet from the Air Force with respect to the off base portion. Uh, both of those documents will contain a uh, tenant waterfall that will that will talk about that will a waterfall of tenants where at the top will be the tenants that can that can absolutely live in the housing and it goes down approximately nine levels. We haven't seen this latest ground lease and use agreement from the Air Force. It's things are sometimes slow in 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 coming from from the Air Force and and it's not the local Air Force. This is from um, the folks in Washington and in Texas. Uh, but it would take, it would have to get to a uh, uh, vacancy, a, a, a particularly high vacancy uh, uh, vacancy rate before uh, members of the general public could live in here. So while it is ex anticipated that the current, that the housing is for um, uh, members of the military, uh, there is the possibility, but only if the vacancy rate reaches a certain level, and that would only be for the period of time until the vacancy rate uh, is back to a point where they can put, they wouldn't be kicking anyone out, but when their, t their lease ran out and the vacancy, we could put more uh, military tenants in there than military tenants would, would go in there. Uh, as far as what would happen in the event of a BRAC, it's um, somewhat unknown because it really depends on what would happen to the base in the event of a BRAC. But in all likelihood, whatever sort of redevelopment takes place, there would presumably be a redevelopment commission of authority of some sort that would look to the redevelopment of the base, and this parcel would in all likelihood, along with Balfour Beatty in the discussions, uh, be up for some sort of redevelopment of one sort or another. Okay. That answers your question, Mr. Page. Yeah, it does. All right. Thanks, sir.